The Alps, a mountain range at the heart of Europe, stretched out between Monaco in the west and Slovenia in the east. Home for more than 14 million people. Protecting the Alps while ensuring sustainable development in the region and striving for a high quality of life are at the core of the Alpine Convention. An international treaty between the eight Alpine countries Monaco, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Italy, Germany, Austria, Slovenia and the European Union. The Alpine region is known for its diversity, be it biologically, economically or culturally. It attracts millions of tourists every year and is home to a vibrant economy. The Alpine Convention pursues the goal of balancing economic development with the preservation of the environment. It aims at sustaining employment opportunities for the people, managing the natural and cultural resources of the Alps in a sustainable way and at addressing the needs and the interests of the Alpine population. The Alps, as we know, have been shaped by generations and generations of people living there. Farmers plowing their fields, keeping their animals, providing food and the income for themselves, their families and communities. They formed a diverse landscape of meadows, pastures and fields surrounded by forests. They contributed to maintaining biodiversity. Farming is strongly rooted in traditions, yet it has to face 21st century challenges, including world market competition, social developments like the downsizing of families and environmental challenges such as climate change. Farmers in the Alps are responding to these challenges and are seizing new opportunities. To maintain small-scale agriculture, they organize themselves in corporations improve processing and marketing opportunities while continuing to build on traditional know-how. Local brands and trademarks with guarantees of origin are there to highlight their excellence and guarantee high quality food. Alpine agriculture goes hand in hand with forestry, but also tourism is playing an important role providing additional sources of income. Landscapes change with the societies that are living in there. People have a tendency to live where it's easy to live. This is why they are moving to easily accessible areas where they find all the infrastructure they need. At the same time, it means that they're leaving their traditional villages, but we can already now see a visible change in the landscape. So what we need to do is not only to valorize mountain farming, but also to appreciate what mountain farming does to our landscape. And this appreciation is something where we're talking about the human side of living in the mountains. Keeping alpine farming alive means keeping settlements in the Alps alive and gives future generations a place and a reason to stay. This also means that alpine art, music, literature, culture, customs and tradition stay alive. The Alps are a unique region to live in for people, animals and plants. For hundreds of years, the farmers carefully maintained the cultivated landscape by using sustainable agricultural practices. As land manager, they help maintaining biodiversity, keep the soils fertile and help preventing natural hazards. Let's make sure that this continues also in the future. The Alpine Convention is the people and the land. We together are the Alpine Convention. We are Alps.